What is going on YouTube, it's your boy Marvin and I'm back with another crazy editing tutorial Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do this pretty simple but very helpful transition that I kind of found out on my own Make sure you do like the video, let's get 100 likes on this video because when you like the video, you're helping me to put my video out there for more people to watch And as a payback, I will definitely be making more free packs for you guys So with that being said, let's get straight to today's video and let's have fun with the editing so the first thing you want to do for this effect is just a simple, very, very simple step. All you got to do is look for a, a part in the video where you want to do it. So it's much easier for me to just go through and cut the person out. Uh, so as you guys can see, I already have my little cut right here. I'm going to label it so I know that that's the clip that I'm going to use. I'm just going to use something like that. So this is the clip that I'm going to be using under it. And then I know how long the clip is. So I'm going to go to the last frame of the one that I'm going to use, which is this one. When we're gonna go right there next thing you want to do is click on this little icon camera icon make sure import into project is selected we're just gonna hit okay like that and the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it like this so the next step you want to do after you kind of select the clip that you want to use for your transition all you got to do is go to the last frame in the video or the clip that you're using and make sure you go here to the little camera icon and we're gonna make sure is it the import into project is selected so we're just gonna hit okay bring it over to this part here now the next step is cutting out the person so with this one you really don't have to be precise i'll say it's gonna do like a little rough cut out um you can take your time and cut it perfectly if you want to you just cut out like this Once you're done matching up the person, you should you should get something like this. This should be something like that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can just kind of do like a little rough cut up. Um, you don't have to do it perfectly. You can if you want to, but I just go for something like this just so I can take some time for the video. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this one up. The option or alt if you have a uh, window, and then we're gonna go here to the bottom layer. We're gonna hit invert and then we're gonna like that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, right click, we're gonna mask it, hit OK, drag it up, that. We're just gonna do that like that. Right. I'm gonna fall my feet to this one. Then you got this one now. Then you put. So you have something like that. Move it up. Move it down. Move it down. The anchor point has to be at the bottom, so it can move when you play with the rotation. If you kind of move like that, so you can set it to zero again. Same thing with the bottom one. And the anchor point, you have to do thing. Put it right here where your feet is. And you can do something like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep playing the rotation. So the rotation. We're probably gonna go probably gonna go somewhere around here maybe. And remember the orange clip at the bottom is the clip that I'm using so I know how long the video is gonna be. I don't wanna make it to the point where it covers the full clip because that's just gonna look pretty ugly. So make so make sure you do take your time. So make sure you do check how long the clip that you're using is and so you don't have to make any errors and then you don't have to go back so we're gonna go over here probably in the next thing just gonna keep the rotation all the way down to somewhere like that so we're doing something like this and then we have the middle one right there so if we play it again it should look something like this pretty simple pretty smooth nothing crazy we can do something like that now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select all three we're gonna hit next. We're gonna go to the beginning real quick. We're gonna keep playing the speed on the position just in case. We're gonna go for like a round right there when they stop a little past that. And then go green. 
something like that. So this is a little something like this. Um, however, you do have to play around with the scale because if you guys can see, look kind of weird. You can't really see when it's cutting out. So make sure you do play around. Then do it again. Just gonna scale it down a little bit. It's still something like that. So. You have something like that. Looks pretty cool already. Now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and my next step clip and we're just gonna drag a little paper um texture. Thing. So I, I will leave this in the description below. I know last I think it was one of my videos that I did on the paper effect thing. It was like a collage. I accidentally deleted the picture to use in the in the video, so I might have to do a little tutorial on how to make your own overlay. It's pretty easy when you use Photoshop and some easy stuff that you need. you don't even have to take pictures of your kind of like skin or whatever. But yeah, so the next is after we have our paper texture under for the clips, I'm just gonna go here. That and we're gonna go ahead and hit invert. This looks something like this. Just gonna make the edges a little more hard. Oh, gonna go back. This looks something like this. We are gonna have to zoom in a little bit more. Go back and make something more. So we have this, that. Pretty cool, pretty simple. Uh, you can play around more with this. Uh, there's multiple ways that you can do. You can do kind of like a paper cutting out in the middle right here if you want to. Uh, if you guys want a part two and this effect and take it to another level, like a more, I guess, advanced type of level, let me know in the comments. Make sure you do like the video because when you like the video, it helps me a lot. It helps to get my videos in the algorithm and that way, you know, I'm helping you guys, giving you guys more free stuff, more free pack. And yeah, so this is it for the video. Something crazy, pretty simple effect um, that you can do if you don't have anything or just running out of ideas. Uh, it's something easy, pretty simple, but very helpful. I think make your videos a little bit more interesting. So, with that being said, I'm out.